are Mormons racist? This is a question that people often ask. The main reason for the persistence of this question is that until 1978, the Mormon church denied black men access to the priesthood. Black people could join the church, but they could not be members of the all-important Mormon priesthood. Then the Mormon leader, considered a living prophet by the Mormons, received a message from God. God told him that black men were to be allowed to hold the priesthood. But black people are still considered to be different according to Mormon theology. They are black because they did something very bad in the spirit world from whence we all came. According to Mormon doctrine, we all came from a spirit pre-world. There was a great war in the pre-existence between the forces of Jesus and God on one side and Satan on the other. The spirits in this pre-existence were the soldiers in this war. Some fought on the side of God and Jesus, and some on the side of Satan. The Mormons say that some of the spirits in the pre-world remained neutral, or did not support Jesus and God with sufficient enthusiasm. As punishment, these cowards or traitors were cursed by being born into black bodies in this life. Mormons banned black men from their priesthood because, according to the Mormon prophets, blacks needed to be punished for this craven behavior in the spirit pre-existence. When Mormons changed their rules to allow black men into the priesthood, they did not issue any repudiation of their official doctrine of blacks as being morally inferior. And that doctrine is extensive. The Book of Mormon talks of black skin as a curse and white skin as being delightsome and pure. But in spite of these racial references in the Book of Mormon, there was originally no explicit separate policy for blacks. The main body of Mormons then moved to Missouri Territory, where there were a lot of pro-slavery settlers. In Missouri, the Mormon prophet issued a statement endorsing slavery. He then produced a holy book titled The Book of Abraham that described blacks as being cursed and being the descendants of Ham, one of Noah's sons. This was a common precept of southern races because there are references in the Bible to Ham's descendants being banned from the priesthood, though the Bible never says that they were black. This tied into another racist theme the Mormons began to preach, that blacks were the descendants of Cain, who was marked by black skin after he killed his brother Abel. After Joseph Smith was shot and killed by a mob in 1844, the main body of Mormons chose Brigham Young as their leader. He led the Mormons to Utah, where they carved out their own proto-nation in the high desert. Brigham Young is also revered by Mormons as a prophet who spoke directly to God. He issued the official proclamation that blacks were to be denied access to the Mormon priesthood. Nearly all white boys over the age of 12 were ordained into the priesthood, but no black men were to be allowed. In addition to the official ban, Brigham Young made some very explicitly racist speeches. He called blacks low, uncouth, and depraved of intelligence. And he issued a proclamation that any black married to a white was to be killed on sight. The Utah legislature legalized slavery. Brigham Young was the governor at the time, and the legislature was almost entirely Mormon. He declared that blacks could be allowed into the celestial kingdom, the Mormon heaven, but only as servants. Even one drop of black blood would trigger the curse. The body of Mormon racist doctrine is deep, and throughout the next 120 years, top church leaders, who Mormons call apostles and prophets, have issued numerous proclamations and delivered many official speeches endorsing the policy that blacks are cursed because of their weak moral fiber. This includes a declaration by a Mormon apostle in 1949 known as the Negro Question Declaration. The apostle says that indeed the blacks are cursed, but that this did not mean that Mormons were prejudiced because, he said, it was not their fault that God cursed the blacks. The Mormons were just obeying God's word. The Mormons would like people to believe that the lifting of the ban resolved the issue of racism in the church. But the doctrine of blacks being cursed for bad behavior remains. The Mormons have never retracted the story. 
that is difficult for them because every Mormon leader speaks directly to God from a special room in the top of the Mormon temple in Salt Lake City called the Celestial Room. So in order to repudiate past official racist doctrine and cleanse the Mormon doctrine of bigotry, Mormons have to proclaim that the Mormon prophets lied when they said that God had cursed the blacks. The only other possible explanation is that God lied to the Mormon prophets. And this is why the question will not go away. And people keep asking, are Mormons racist? For more information on Mormonism, visit my website at www.mymormonlife.org and of course read my book My Mormon Life it will tell you everything you want to know about Mormonism